Stephen Finn, not a massive total to defend, but defend it reasonably handsomely in the end, 19 runs. Yes, I think at half-time we felt as though we were a bit light with the bat. Um, I don't think it was 140 wicket, um, but I think that the use of the new ball with Tom Helm and Tim Murta there bowling three each in the power play to take wickets and put Hampshire on the back foot, I think set us up for the rest of the innings to be able to use the big boundary towards the grandstand um, and use the wicket and, and the skills of our bowlers through the middle. So, um, yeah, very proud that we managed to defend that. Because obviously it was 209 that first game, wasn't it? 163 wasn't quite enough against Sussex, mainly because of one well, man, David Visa, wasn't it? And um, you know, today obviously as a bowling unit all round, everybody fired. Yes, yeah, I think that's something that we've been building towards. We've always, um, you know, we always try and look to take wickets all the way through the innings because that's the thing that stems the runs the most. We don't just want to drag it out all the way to the end of the game. We want to try and win the game um, and put the opposition under pressure. And I felt like today was the perfect template for us doing that. A season debut for a youngster making his T20 bow this, this <laughs> match as well, Tim Murta. Two wickets, 20 runs from his four overs. Yeah, it shows he's a wizard. doesn't matter what colour the ball is in his hand. You know, he's got pedigree um, and yeah it was a late call up because Luke Holman unfortunately was in the team rolled his ankle after we'd tossed the coin and thankfully Hampshire let us swap Tim Murta in um, he was claiming to be another leg spinner the pace that he bowls but um, but yeah he, uh, he did a great job for us and he's so reliable you know what you're going to get from Mertz and even if you give him 20 minutes notice he's still a genius. A second T20 since 2013 for him for Middlesex but he's obviously been playing a lot of white ball cricket for Ireland uh, and quite successfully as well so he does certainly give you a selection option for the final few games of this group. Most definitely yeah it's a, it was a shame to lose Luke because he's done so well in the games that he's done and to give him as a young man the experience to play in the first team here at Lords against some good players I think was a really good thing for the club moving forward but yeah to have Mertz to call upon and just to know that he's got that pedigree and, and what a genius he is with with uh, with any ball in his hand um, you know it, it's it's great to have him. How easy is he to captain? Oh very easy when he bowls three up front and um, and yeah he, he listened to me actually it's the first time he's ever listened to me in his life so um, so yeah I'll have to uh, yeah well yeah um, he did a couple of times a couple of times. <laughs> um, with the bat, that's still a formula to work on. Obviously, shifting the uh, lineup a bit just to see how players fit and in what position. Um, I mean, of course, that's for thinking for this season as well, because the group's still very much alive. But also for next season as well, I'm sure, just to work out that formula. Yeah, very much so. I think the the best T20 teams in the world have quite a fluid batting lineup, depending on the situation, the matchups against batsmen with bowlers. Um, you know, if there's a left-arm spinner bowling, you want left-handers in there. If there's an off-spinner, you want right-handers. Just to try and target boundaries and try and to keep that scoreboard moving along. Um, I thought, yeah, we were 20 light today at least, I think, between 20 and 30 light, and I think that that would have put us into an unassailable position. Um, but Again, to get 140 odd and, and to defend that, I think it was a great effort from us. And for yourself, uh, another three for uh, the wicket's still coming. You'd kept yourself out of the power play today and took on those middle overs, um, but three wickets returned. Yeah, but I think, again, it's the same with the batting. The bowlers have to be flexible with where we bowl and dot and dart around. Those two guys, Helmy and Mertz in the power play, just looked like they were going to take wickets. So as long as someone looks like they're going to take wickets, I'll keep them bowling. That's my philosophy, I think. Um, and they, yeah, that just happened to be how it went today but um, yeah in the future it might change you might have six different bowlers in the power play it's just how I feel out there on the day and what the wickets doing but yeah those guys bowled six beautiful overs in the power play and really put Hampshire behind the game. It wouldn't have been an eliminator to lose today but winning very much puts everything in Middlesex's hands now with the teams that you still had to play because they're all mostly above you so um, it's very much within Middlesex's grasp now to take this on uh, through to the final stages of the group. Yep it's a momentum tournament T20 cricket especially now that we've got five games in nine days or four days it's four games in eight days now until the end of the group stage of the competition it's a chance for us to really build momentum um, I feel like we've got a great team cohesion in there I think you can tell that in the field with the buzzing around the stops the catches people are taking you know we're a really cohesive unit out there um, and there's no reason why we can't go into these last four games and really push to qualify for the quarterfinals I think if we look too far ahead, that's that's being a little bit silly. But I think if we look and take each game as it comes, try and perform to the standards that we have been doing and even raise that bar, bar slightly more, uh, we'll be in a really good position. And next up, revenge in a London derby. Sorry very much had home advantage at the Oval, didn't they? Um, Middlesex will hope to have the same here. Yep, yep, we know this ground very well. I think one of the fortunate things about the tournament being in this format like this is that we get to play all of our home games here 
with very similar dimensions and get to know the ground and how to play at it and take wickets at it and score, run, score runs at it. So, um, yeah, very much looking to uh, to take the spoils there against Surrey. They're always a dangerous team. They've got dangerous players, uh, but hopefully we can put on a good spectacle, both teams on Monday and come out on the right side of it. I can nearly lost it there, no matter what balls he's got.